Welcome, Moon and Star. I have prepared a place for you. That's two weeks on the trot now that someone's managed to get a notification to go off immediately as soon as this starts. Uh, thanks for the raid dealer shoe. Uh, <laughs> nice timing again. Uh, right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you're watching this on YouTube, hi. We're back at this again. The Sisyphean task that is daggerful. Although this week, uh, it's in the middle of a scorching heat wave, so I'm sat here just slowly melting to death in my chair whilst torturing my brain with Daggerfall. I'm sure this is going to be absolutely delightful. I don't know how long I'm actually going to stream for today. I'll be lucky if we get two hours in. But we've got to find this painting in this goddamn dungeon first, so... And it's a big old dungeon, because it's an optional main quest dungeon, so it's huge! I think we're in either either Daggerfall or Wayrest Castle, I forget which one. I think it was Wayrest Castle. Searching for a painting in the dungeon, so we can give it to the Queen of Hammerfell. Well, wow. Queen of Sentinel, I should say. Just ate a big Chipotle burrito, now you're ready for a cozy stream. Oh, I'm jealous, I'm, I'm, I'm dieting at the minute, so... Basically no food at all until at least five o'clock. And then it's just small portions, low calories, low carbs. Basically miserable, essentially. Fucking miserable. Ah. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. Load. Yeah, I remember now. We're in that big ass room in the dungeon that we found after exploring an entire branch of the bloody place that turned out to be a total wild goose chase. And now we're in this area with a massive gigantic room with a few altars in the middle. And it had a moving bridge puzzle puzzle up, up at the top that I think I just completely circumnavigated by levitating. As is the way. The mirror diet's still working then, yeah. <laughs> the mirror diet, so this is the thing I <laughs> I mentioned on Discord basically. The mirror diet, the way it works is you put a mirror next to your desk that you work at during the day. And so every time you feel peckish and you feel like you want to go get something to eat, you glance in the mirror and look at your fat ass sat in the chair and go, well, wait, yeah, no, I need to not eat. That's the mirror diet. It's surprisingly effective. Right. Oh, boy. Okay, let's have a look at the map. I believe we looted some treasure off one of these when we left off last time. Thanks for the four months, Mr. Megahassi. Yeah, we're in this big ass room here. Yeah, there's the main bit of the castle. And then you have this whole section here, which I think we already explored and was completely fruitless. Unless the painting is scribbled away in there in some dark corridor that I forgot to explore. Um, like, admittedly, I can see two corridors there I didn't explore, so, oh god. There's also a bit up here that I've not gone down either. Actually, was it this area or was it a different one? Hold on. Uh, well, we've we, yeah we've been through this bit. There's a bit leading down over here, and there's another one leading down there. <sighs> All right then. Well, we need to levitate out of this hole we found ourselves in first, though. Although, uh, there seems to be a door there. Let's try that first. I'll drop a little quick save just for the sake of doing it. So I try and remember what the controls are. It's been two weeks since I last played instead of one because the football was on last week. The football, as is tradition, did not in fact come home. Better luck next time. Oh, right, I forgot we are completely just stacked with stuff. I can't even pick up gold. Ah, secret door, huh? I was a very lost and very naked archer. I can sympathize, Mr. Archer, with the heat being the way it is right now. Like, yeah, I don't blame you. What uh, pauldrons are we using right now? Elven and Dwarven. Yeah, better than those silver ones he had. 
As is tradition, England loses on penalties. Yes, indeed. Although this time we did it in the final instead of the semi-final, and that I consider progress. Only took 55 years. Ah, we need to heal. Quite desperately. There we go. Yeah, we gave Germany a clock running. That, that felt good, at least. A lot of curses broken in the last couple of tournaments, which is actually great news for the future, really. I cannot loot this stuff. I think it might be one of the sound mods I've got installed next. That adds a few uh, Diablo sounds, I think. Although a lot of them are just shared in general because, you know, same, you know, 90s games had a lot of same the same sound effects because common sound libraries were used in making them and stuff. But uh, I do believe there are one or two Diablo sounds that are actually added by one of the uh, sound, sound mods I have installed. Ooh, magic prayer beads. You know, I actually do want those. Let's see what I can get rid of. <laughs> I've got four dead snakes in my bag, just as, you know, as you do. Uh, I don't need that, whatever that is. Yeah, let's have that. Hey, coffin. With nothing but a skeleton. Ah, you sneaky centaur. Daedra Heart. They are quite valuable. Let's have one. Tim takes part in Whacking Day then? Yes. Well, I found out the Gorgon Snakes are actually quite a valuable alchemical ingredient, so I am now officially looting snakes. Uh, I suppose we we could anchor here and then go all the way back to the exit. That's a not option. But oh, I don't know, man. I feel like we're past the point of caring about loot really now. Um, I've hit that 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 sweet spot when it comes to money in Daggerfall, where you've got more than you know what to do with, but not enough to like buy a ship or a house. So I've reached the, for the, the point of the game where money's effectively useless. Um, levitate. Sorry, rat. It just wasn't your lucky day. Okay. I think I came in here earlier and that's that archer I killed. Well, obviously I've been in this bit too already. Well. I'm gonna keep checking the, uh, no, 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 no. Pressed I for inventory there. Forgot what game I was playing. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, grab mode, there we go. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to keep trying to use these. Might have to use a walkthrough sooner or later. Okay, there's these other two bits here. God, I hate the map in this game so much. Uh, right, let's see. Go upstairs, upstairs, up here. Walk around along the side, and then we have another route to explore. Hmm. 
And I assume that is the... Yes, leave it for the bridge. That we don't need. Right, next left. Ah, the music has informed us that we are back in the actual castle now. Yeah, hi everybody. Oh, for goodness sake, guards, why? I didn't want to do that, I wanted to cast heal. Whoops. Ah, uh, let's just rest. Wow, that's a lot of skill increases and more so we feel somewhat bad. Or we did anyway, now we feel healthy apparently. I'm getting some conflicting signals here, game. Hey, Variax. Long time no see, my friend. I've not been able to catch one of your streams for a while lately. Uh, how, how, how's it going, man? How's things? I was thinking about trying to go back to the entrance and do and put some stuff in the wagon, but sod it. I don't want to deal with the guards. All right, well, that was a bit of a fruitless endeavor. Uh, what about this other passageway? If we use the bridge to go across here, although, oh, oh, for goodness sake. I've now moved the bridge that was in the correct position. And Tim can really sprint when he gets a move on, can't he? What? It didn't move at all. All right, I guess that lever does something else then. What am I looking for? Map. Okay, let's just go ahead and say screw you. Puzzle. Good, thanks. Just warm. Things are just fine. Thank you. Hope you're doing good too. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm not bad, I'm not bad. Just slowly melting, you know. I wanted to get a lot of uh, office sorting done this weekend, but then the weather was just like, ha 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 ha. Yeah, no, mate, it's going to be like 30 degrees, so uh, good luck with that. That one moved the bridge. See you, Sarah. Oh, hello. Someone who's not dead yet. That means we're going the right way. Well, you would think that, but that's not really how Daggerfall works. Yeah, I haven't been up to much, really. Um, I've been doing some flying around on Vatsim in Flight Sim, which has been fun. I had a go at the, the recent FNO on Vatsim that was the Memphis... FedEx event thing, which was quite fun. Uh, and I've been playing some Baldur's Gate, like original Baldur's Gate 1 Baldur's Gate, which has honestly actually been surprisingly fun. I've been enjoying it more than I thought I would. Now, I've got past like, like the initial sort of like, I managed to get to Baragost. And that's sort of the point where the game suddenly opens up a little bit more and becomes more interesting, but you just have to have to sort of like slog through that intro bit. Getting chased by wolves and gibblings until you have a party of six and then you can actually like do stuff but it is funny i remember you saying once a long time ago v that you enjoyed baldur's gate one a lot more after playing baldur's gate two and i found that the exact same is true for me too well, that was a bit pointless wasn't it Best enemy, Zvarts, yes. <laughs> you should probably feel bad about killing a whole village of Zvarts, but I never do. I 
I've been playing a, a cleric of Helm called Henry. So far, because I've never played a cleric in Battlescape before. Uh, only fighters and wizards. And I've done the divine magic stuff. So yeah, I'm playing a, a, a Henry, the, the cleric of Helm. And his party of people, which at the minute is basically just Chira, Khalid, Zara, and Monteron, so I haven't had a chance to chuck out anybody yet. I'm trying to get Monty killed at the moment so I can replace him with Keevan. Um, no luck so far, though. The little bastard keeps accidentally surviving every fight. Oh, he had the bear in the village. I forgot about that. <laughs> well, that's something new right there, isn't it? How do we get down there? Oh, there are some days you wish you could just no clip. Oh, uh, bloody hell. All right. Uh, how... Balls do I get out of here? Alright, right down this corridor takes us down here. We're watching you. I think that just takes us to this Scum. little circular path of doom. Hello, Pete. Thank you for the 13 months of subage. Why did I decide to do this to myself today? I have no idea. Uh, let's try the wander aimlessly method. I even play Icewind Dale. Nice. I like Icewind Dale, actually. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, what with it sort of being a more combat-focused game where you build an entire party and you don't have any NPC companions, but I really enjoyed Icewind Dale when I played it. It's been a while now since I last played it, mind you, but I really did enjoy it a lot. Alright, we can make a quick dash across the hall here. <laughs> uh, Wee! Yeah, kind of like Wasteland, yeah. Hi, everyone. Just coming through. Oh, bloody hell. What's the bit I'm looking for? Here, hole in the ground. Go away. Oh, uh, well, this is not... I'm not, I'm not seeing any paintings in here. Get out of my way. Ugh. Okay, I've ended up in another bit of dungeon. Where am I now? Uh, oh, we're in the portal bit. Right. The portal section. Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking about doing the walkthrough, honestly. Oh, a thief assassin with no ranged attacks. I was about to say, another stealth archer. How original. No, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, a thief with no ranged attacks is good fun. 
I made a deliberate point when I did the Oblivion LP with Arthur not to use bows very much because it makes life more interesting if you don't. Uh... Coldahar and Icewind Dale's your number one five place in any fantasy game. Nice. Yeah, Coldahar's pretty cool. Where did I full speed run be measuring days? <laughs> Assuming it was a no glitch one, maybe. Alright. Here we go. Daggerfall main quest walkthrough. Now, which bit are we on right now? I'm trying to painting the truth. I'm going to assume that's the one we're after. Yeah. Finding the painting in the castle dungeons, you encounter mostly knights, orcs, shamans, centaurs, wraiths, and vampires. No vampires so far, actually, I must admit. We're watching you, scum. Aaron65, thank you very much for six months of prime subbage. A prime cut of subbage right there. I did much more on point D and D experience. Yeah, yeah, I, I have to admit, I really did enjoy that. I went down. I can't quite put my finger on why exactly. I think I think possibly the locations had a lot to do with it. Actually, um, now that you mention it, like even the dungeons were just just a, a slight cut above anything I remember from Baldur's Gate One at the time. It, it, as, as a game, it reminded me an awful lot more of what playing D&D &D with friends used to be like than Baldur's Gate ever did. Okay, well, it's mentioning teleporters, so I suppose we're in the, the, we must be in the right neck of the woods. Uh... Do, 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 up this way, round here. Boosh, up to this bit. Uh, you go in here, you go through portal. Which takes you to... Where does this one take you? It's down here somewhere, isn't it? Um... Ugh, map. Why are you so bad? Uh, takes you to... Looks like this one here. Yeah, it takes you to here, and then you go in th that portal. Find yourself in a room with a torture instrument. This is quite hard to follow, this walkthrough, you know. We need to get to the sewers. That, that much I can tell from the... from the walkthrough right now, looking at it. With the, it mentions the sewers, which I don't believe we found yet. We found a watery bit over there, but that wasn't the sewers. I didn't really vibe with Pillars of Eternity. I'm not entirely sure why. I, I think I, I just. I felt like it lacked any sense of humor that I missed from the the old Infinity Engine games. And uh, I found the NPC companions to be a bit dull. I never really got very far with it in the end.
find yourself in a room with a torture instrument. Um, leave through the room. Leave the room through the south door and follow the hallway to the west. Which room is it referring to here? I don't really see that one on here anywhere. So this one down here? Here you go. Did I check that little room there? I don't know if I did. That little tiny room within a room bit there. Oh, crumbs. All right, I think I need to go run through the, the portal gauntlet again. Right, what was the next one? Gonna follow this step by step. Let's get this facing north up, shall we? Teleport into a room with an armory and another teleporter. Go through this one as well. Okay, that brings us into. Teleport to the northeast corner of a tiny room with yet another teleport to take it to go to the next area. Also, there's a lever here. It doesn't mention that, but all right. Oh, okay. Now we're in the torture room. Leave the room through the south door and follow the hallway to the west. After passing through the door, go south to the west. Actually, the written instructions are easier, frankly. Uh, go south. Okay. Just scroll down a bit here. Follow the hallway west. Past an intersection. Uh, go away. Follow the hallway west, past an intersection, and go down the stairs. I guess there's these stairs? Um, follow the hallway further past a secret door and go up the stairs. Go to through the door at the end of the hallway to reach the sewers. I need to heal myself. I'm levitating now, whoops. <laughs> yeah, indeed, stairs and air quotes. Up the stairs, go to the door at the end of the hallway. I don't know if that was the door at the end of the hallway. I'm going to assume that's not really the end, is it? Because it keeps going here. Is it somehow? Although well, we are at least in new territory. Rat just died. Oh, lots of carnage going on somewhere around here. So hungry right now. Ah, oh, Centaur busy murdering everyone. As you do. Oh. Elven Warhammer. Not as good as my Mithril one, so you can keep it. Okay, we definitely took a wrong turning here somewhere. Good. 
Let's try this way instead. Uh, just a room with a They're coffin watching. in it. Fair enough. Head skull. Scott. Thank you very much for 23 months of subage. My hammer is blue. Yes, indeed. It's me thrill. Ah, here's the sewers. Lovely. Right then. Oh, oh. <laughs> freaking centaurs, man. Ah, oh, Mithril, yes. What on earth are you? Oh, it's a drag thing. Drew, drag. Droig? Oh god, oh god, the entire fish tank is after me. Rat. Bonjour, sewers. Right. Lots of angry slaughterfish down there. Oh, poop rooms in the sewers. Where else, I suppose? Yes, yes. I need to watch Lord of the Rings again. I mean, it's just, you know, that's on the general to-do list watching. every other week, really. But... Scum. Actually, speaking of Lord of the Rings... Oh, oh, also, False Idol, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome aboard. We don't get new subs very often. Lots of resubs. Not so many of the new ones, so... You're a part of a very exclusive club at the moment. Welcome. And thank you. Hmm. Um... Okay, then. Anyway, speaking of Lord of the Rings, I played some of the... Oh, God, it's such a mouthful, but the, the Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, let me out. Let me out. No! Am I, am I dead or what? What's going on? I'm going to be in a minute if I'm not careful. Buoyancy! There we go. Let me out! Sod it. Alright, I've gone all the way around this. What am I missing? Uh, an underwatery bit. That's what I'm missing. Yes, indeed. All right. All right, you big tentacle jerk. There we go. I actually had some gold. Oh my days, okay. How am I gonna... Yeah, that's an issue. I'm not a halfling, so... Oh wait, no, you can crouch, there you go. I just couldn't, couldn't find the button. Don't have any spell points. Uh oh. There we go. He can climb though. Thank goodness. All right. What the devil are we doing now? doing in here? Do I want to know? Probably just paying his respects. Right. Mm. 
in the in the torture room, the centaur torture room located in the sewers beneath the castle, because that's a thing that exists. Well, you're just a rat. You're not a painting. I usually catch him due to being in California, but you're up early for you this morning. Anyway, as I was going to say, I keep getting distracted, but I played some of the Middle Earth strategy battle game recently. Oh boy. All right. With, uh, with a friend of mine, which is it's just like, it's that old um, Lord of the Rings miniature game made by Games Workshop. It's like Warhammer, but Lord of the Rings. And, and I've got to tell you, it was, it was really good. I really, really enjoyed it a lot. Oh, I got my hopes up there for a second. I have an underwater pillory. That's hilarious. <laughs> Two way rest. Okay. Why can't I go through? Our hero focused, is it? Um. Like, there's a hero element to it. It's not as... I, I, my, my understanding is it used to be much worse. Like, it used to be sort of, like, uh, a little too hero-focused. Now it's sort of okay. I played a little game of it. Um, I was... I was... I was the Urukai. Because, you know, Isengard's just cool. And, um... My friend was playing as Rohan. I think he... We did a, the Battle of the Fords of Isen. Um... With him playing as... What was the guy's name? The dude who dies off-screen in the movies. Um, Fe Theoden's son. Theodred? I think, so. I think it's Theodred. Yeah, um, he played as Theodred. And I played as Budge of Urukai, Ambushing him at the Fords of Eisen. And uh, it was good! I won! I didn't manage to kill Theodred, though, so... How much of a victory really was it, I wonder, but, uh, yes. It will taste man flesh. Yes, yeah, that, yeah, indeed. Uh, but it was really good fun. It was really, 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 really good fun. Honestly, more fun than most of the games of 40k I've played recently. Like, a lot more fun. Uh, so, yeah, I was a little bit surprised by how, 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 how much of a laugh it was. So yeah, do, 10 out of 10 do recommend. I think, you know what, honestly, I think it's because it's a less popular game, like much less popular than 40k. It has a rule set that is a lot more just done for the sake of fun rather than competitive balance. And that shows when you're playing it like a lot. There's rules for like shooting people off their horses. Um, there's even rules for getting set on fire as well. Like, yeah, it's, it's amazing. There's lo loads of fun little things can happen in the game. I had like I had a dude like I had a bunch of Urukai with crossbows and they managed to shoot a rider off his horse and then he got trampled by his own horse to death. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, it was good stuff. Anyway, <laughs> what the hell am I? And how do I get out of here? Shady, thank you very much for seventeen months of subage. more of a narrative battle game than competitive. Yeah, it absolutely is. Like, it's much smaller scale as well, because, like, every individual model is its own unit in Lord of the Rings. Um, so it's sort of, like, halfway between 40k and something like Necromunda, which is quite interesting. You know, like, it's 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 individual guys are individual units, but it's uh, simpler than something like Necromunda. Scott. So you can play it at a slightly larger scale. Hey, Alf. Thanks very much for four months of subage. Guys, do Alf and myself a big old favor and go follow his Twitch channel. Because Alf's been streaming on Twitch for a little while now. And I sometimes join him on there every Monday. 
for currently some Deep Rock Galactic is what we've been playing. It's been really, really good fun. Honestly, Deep Rock Galactic is a quality game. It's really, really good. Um, we'll be playing that tomorrow, I think, assuming you haven't got anything going on, Elf. Um, now then, walk through. Okay. Uh, walk along the sewers. Then you get to these stairs, yeah. You go up these stairs. If they flipped it around in the walkthrough, I think they bloody have, you know. Go east to find a small opening in the wall. Walk towards it and climb to the bottom path of the wall until you stop. Then you Okay, whatever. We're in the wrong neck of the woods right here. We need to get back upstairs. Splosh. I'm gonna need to levitate out of this bit. Or am I? No, actually, I don't. I can just go this way. Hey, motor kids. Glad you're enjoying the YouTube stuff. So, there will be more of it coming very soon. I am nearly done with the intro for Neverwinter Nights. Darkness over Daggerford. We're nearly freaking done with it. I finished the first draft of it today, I'm making a few tweaks and changes, and then I'll start recording it. And then shortly after that, hopefully, it will end up on uh, on the YouTubes. That one's been a long time coming. Whoa! Zoomed right in on the weird, funky thing there. Uh, right. We've gone up the stairs. Now what? Or was there another door I've missed somewhere? I don't think so. Yeah, we go up these stairs. And then you go through. Aha! I see the bit I've missed. Right. You can go through these by crouching. Sup. Oh, whatever. Yeah, I'll fine. I'll take the 30 gold. Pile of heads. Nothing in there. I think my torch is going to go out in a minute, or my lantern one. Or two. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> uh, lantern oil, where is it? That was all, all she wrote, apparently. To get some more lantern oil. Someone remind me to do that next time we're at a shop. Have to present outside your base on Minecraft, by the way. Can only be opened on stream. Oh, good. Oh, goody. First time I've seen one of those before. <laughs> Modded Daggerfall, everybody. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> Might need to get the bomb disposal squad out pudding, yep.
look at a skeleton just then. Oh, here we go. Thank you very much. I believe some things are attempting to get into the room. Yeah, hello. That's one dead Kniggit. Thought you would ambush me, did you? Someone forgot to give these knights keys for the rooms they were locked in. Not really sure. They, 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 the, uh, the old queen of uh, Wayrest or whatever really thought that one through, if I'm honest. But I'll give you a hand. There you go. Worst art gallery ever. One star on Google reviews for this place. Right, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and teleport myself, because I think I set down an anchor last time. I hope to god I did, anyway. Aha, yeah. just before I went through the portal. Uh, you know, let's, let's rest while we have the opportunity. Bye. Bye. Oh my god, the whole garrison's here. Madam? Right, um... Uh, I'll just be taking my leave now. Bye. Bye. If it crashes here, I'm done. <laughs> Why is the garrison after me? I think they spotted me walking in around in one of the forbidden corridors. Trespassing. And so, of course, trespassing means uh, death in Daggerfall. You stepped one centimeter into the forbidden hallway. You will now die. Call the guards. Execute this fiend at once. All right. Oh, God, it's loading stuff. That's why there's lag. Don't, it's not your stream. Do not adjust your set. Uh, there we go. Right. A few. Okay. I think we're going back to Sentinel, aren't we? Sunny Sentinel. Can examine the painting? Oh, can I? All right, let's have a look. There it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why does Karina Karithi want that painting of all paintings? One wonders. Or is it a painting of her? That might explain it. Also, we need to put our lantern out. And get some more lantern oil. Right, where's the nearest shop? No, that was the quest painting. It was highlighted green and everything. Uh, okay, that's... Yeah, no, where's the shop? That's That's a tavern. Shops, 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 
Fighters Guild? No, Order of the Candle. If I say it recently, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Just for good measure, though. Uh, Adventurous Pharmacy. Armor. Ah! It's bottom left corner. That's where all the shops are in Sentinel. It's actually quite a small city, really, because the castle takes up so much bleeding room. Sleep very well last night, mostly because of the heat. All right. Just need a generic trader. That's the bank. General store. Here we go. Okay, uh, I actually don't want to talk to you. I want to look at the shelves, don't I? Uh, right, lantern oil. Oh, lantern oil. Lantern oil. Lantern oil. Thongs and loincloths. Nah, no, it's not really. Nah, no, I need lantern oil. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 thong and loincloth kind of weather, I'll admit, but... Hello, is that a mythical broadsword? It is. Aha! You cannot carry any more. Ah, let's fix that. Have this mace. These arrows. Oh, he won't buy ingredients, will he? Yeah. Well, I'll have, have those for now. I was paid with a letter of credit. Oh, because I can't carry any more gold. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a nice touch, isn't it? Uh, right, seriously though. Oil. Oh, there we go. Maximum two, really? Mm. Alright, fine. Uh, where's my wagon? Let's get this sorted out, shall we? Whip, remove. There we go. There we go. Oh, we have a few things that need identifying, don't we? Main thing though is my gold. I can't really see. Ah, gold. Forgot. Uh, you have to press the button for it. Uh, I would like to drop 20,000 of them. Oh, that didn't quite work, did it? There we go. That's better. 57,000 gold, plus another three grand or so on me good self. Good, sir. I've come back for more oil. Thanks. I'll take the lot. I think I answered 200k. Ah, yeah, probably an extra zero. Where's the bank? Are you open yet? What time is it? 
Oh, it closed 40 minutes ago. How annoying. Oh well, I'll just have to remember to cash in that letter of credit later. Now to the castle! Uh, it's probably because Harold's and Dumax are coming from a different mod, Paladin Dupree. Hello again, everybody. Just be passing through. Yeah, 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 I know. Up the elevator. I used to have a mod for Fallout New Vegas that added weight to bottle caps. That made life interesting. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot we were being paid a whole 552 gold for this. <laughs> oh, I never realized you could sort it by clicking this. Did you attempt to use the painting? Uh... Yes, why? I presume much, Tim. What you saw is not for the prying eyes of the masses. It concerns matters of royalty and will be done. <laughs> it was a painting of her. Ha ha ha! Right. A weird, weird, weird way of putting it to use the painting. I, I looked at the painting, if that's what you mean, madam. All that 500 gold I know, right? Uh, no, no, I don't want to use the wagon. Right. Yeah, I know, right? The freaking knights guarding it had more than that. Uh, anyway. Sensible thing to do would have been to lie and say, oh, no, 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 not at all. Uh, but I kind of wanted to see her reaction. So, <laughs> anyway. Uh, right. Not much else to do now other than, I suppose, bugger off to the nearest fighters guild and carry on side questing. What level are we now? Level 7. 59% of the way to level 8. I think if memory serves, I need to be level 10 to actually make any proper progress. Um, totem, totem, who gets the totem? Yeah, you need to be level 10. Level 8 is the next for the one. Ah, the Ancient Watcher. Yes. There's no more uh, King of Worms ones, unfortunately. Yeah, we need to be level 10 in order to do Totem Totem, who gets the totem, and then that's the journey to Aetherius after that, which is also level 10. Uh, so yeah, in other words, let's go find a fighter's guild. Still doing 28 stuff. 
Uh, I haven't actually played it at all. I made some Turnip 28 minis when it first became a thing, when it was still basically a hashtag with a Patreon. Um, I haven't actually played any Turnip 28, so I couldn't answer that question. Is there not actually a Fighters Guild in this town, is there? As the Knights of Iron? Why don't we go visit the Knights of Iron? Fancy horse. Clippity cloppity. Hello. Hello. Oh, I can't join this guild. Sad times. Can get a quest. The healing, the spook, and the stolen item are an errand. The spook. You're not a member of the Knights of Iron, Tim. However, you seem honest enough. I'll tell you what. A house over in Jalelian is being haunted by some sort of undead. We need someone to exercise the spirit. Do this, and it may change how we feel about you. All right, then. Uh, Jalelian. Wixley Residence in Jalelian. All right. Don't think I've joined a Knight of the Order. No. Um... I can't get. I, 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 unfortunately, I think you only get one chance to do the bat box quest, which is a bit of a shame. I mean, I want to find the Wickham residence or something. Is there anyone around? There is. You're there, madam. Wixley residence. Oh, you blasted. What about you? Thank you. It's over there. Hello, obsolete enigma. It's this one over here. All right. Hello, madam. I ain't afraid of no ghost. There you are. In life I built this house. What right do the living have to interrupt my deathly dreams? Go on, get, Mr. Wraith. Shove off back to the afterlife where you belong. Well, that was nice and simple. Where's the bank? I think it should be open now. Oh god, other end of the city. Okay, fine. Missing finished by Tomb Raider 1 playlist and 2 as well. So fun. Hope your tweet didn't come off as pushy. No, 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 not at all. It's fine. I haven't decided on I want to get hot back on playing Tomb Raider yet. Um, I might do though. I have that sort of club problem at the minute of having lots of things I could stream and not really feeling like streaming any of them. Shit for Daggerfall, because I have to. <laughs>
I see. There we go. Hello, Gurp. Uh. One moment. Six hundred fifty seven, okay. Oh, deposit a letter of credit. Yes, okay, that's what you need to do, All right. And then withdraw from our account. Who needs a bank when you've got a wagon? <laughs> Can you break in and rob the bank? I don't think so, but you can withdraw an obscene amount of money on a letter of credit and then skip skip the country with it. Um, that's a thing you can do. Although I think they send assassins after you for doing it. I don't know if you can earn interest, actually. No, I haven't got a clue. Right, this way. Watch Formula One in your mood was sour to Tad. Why is everyone I know watching the Formula One at the moment? When did it suddenly become so popular? It's weird. I don't really pay much attention to it, to be honest with you, because I, I get bored of it. It's always like the same three guys that win every time. It's just no fun. Climb on the roof. No. <laughs> Not many quests on offer, eh? Nah, I sold this. I'm going to find a fighter's guild. Hello, madam. Uh, regional. Any fighters guild? Codirius. Very well. isn't it? Right, that'll be the Flyers Guild over there. Because of your outstanding weaponry prowess, we promoted you to the rank of Guardian in the guild. Among other benefits, this, incre in this increase means cheaper weapon repair and more profitable work assignments. Hooray. All right, what do you got for me, then? I can go see. Save the mage. Hunter of the dark. Bouncer. All right. Got the time, Tim. I've got a job here for a tavern in town, but I'm not supposed to give it out after 9 p.m. Uh, they're going to have a get-together of some kind and they're worried about drunks, fights, that kind of thing. It's paying standard fare if you want it, all right. All right, but if it's if it's after nine right now, it's your fault for not catching me on it. Uh, the party's going to be at the Unfortunate Ogre here in town. You'll stay there from nine to sunrise or whenever they dismiss you, whichever comes first. Keep the people safe and you'll get paid your 2,449 gold. Exactly. Uh, report to Bike whatever it name is, when you get there. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's been a little while since we've killed any innocents. That's a good point. What's the name of the place? Unfortunate Ogre. Uh -huh. Looks like I've been here before because there's a few places marked. Oh, here we go. Who are we reporting to? Began with a B. Not box. <laughs> Goodness sake, okay, seriously? Ugh. Be there by 2100 and stand guard until dismissed. Well, it's the time now. All right, uh, seven hours then. It's, it's nearly time. All right, we'll just stand there and wait then. Um, this tavern is amazing, I know. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, I have to assume they haven't spawned yet. Hey, Barman. Oh, hoi hoi, indeed. To you as well. Anyone bring a pack of cards? Yeah, it is very hot. Ah, oh, here we go. Bye. <laughs> is waiting for you. Uh, Fire's Guild, all right. Stay here and make sure things stay under control. I'll come for you when your shift's up. All right. Am I allowed to loiter using the screen, or do I have to just stand here? Let's save and find out, shall we? Hey, I got an idea. How's about we take that scroll you took to the Mages Guild and read it out together? 
For anyone has sense enough to stop them, two drunks read out what they presume to be the words on the scroll. A creature with no allegiance appears out of thin air. Oh, boy. Where is it? Oh, God. People hoot and holler at your combat prowess. <laughs> I'm nearly dead, though. That was a frost astronaut or something. As about we see if we throw bottles at that Breton patrol in the tavern. Ha, ah, see who hits it first. Bye. <laughs> Rolls her eyes and slaps the offender's head. Crap breaks out in an impromptu song, entirely out of key. Curiously, you notice a bag of gold which appears to be out of everyone else's sight. The adrenaline rush of today's events may have worn them out too much, leading to a momentary distraction. Will you attempt to take it for yourself? No, no. I have more than enough gold, for goodness sake. Um, Fighters Guild reputation is so is well earned. We'll call you for next time we do one of these. Brilliant. <laughs> nice. Oh god, what was the name of the place? We were go oh. The Yam of the Sea. I don't remember. Oh I know. It's it's lit we're in the town already. Alright, ignore me. I thought we'd gone to a different town. Apparently we hadn't. Too hot, okay, guys. It's too hot, and I've not had enough sleep. All right. Uh, cast down, but not destroyed. Got a guild member who's feeling really depressed. The fellows here in town, just sort of moping around, unable to get back in the groove. I can relate, man. Uh, I bet you'd be pretty good at changing that, right, Tim? Sure. All right, then go on and find him over in the Hearth House residence. Poor guy's really shaken up, but I don't know what. What about name's Grerum? If you can, f see if you see if you can get his head back in uh, in its right place. If it's if you if, something about decapitation. Um, I'll I'll have nineteen fifty five gold for you when you're done. Don't take longer than twenty one days. Grerum, half house residence. Away! Oh, you know what, actually, let's just rest. Could be a training while we're here. Would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Although, I don't think she could train us in blunt weapon. I think we've maxed that out, so it needs to be something else. Like, um,. Critical strike. There we go. Half house residence. Give me a map marker. Dark water strand good building. Sorry, guys, give me a minute here. I got an itchy ear. Ah, oh, that's the stuff. There we go. <laughs> These earphones I'm wearing, though, they're quite good, but not perfect, unfortunately. Hmm. Seem to have run out of town. Alright, Grerum. Oh. 
interesting flooring. The uh, wooden hazard stripe style flooring. Not Grerum. There's Grerum. There you are. Oh, what? You're, you're, what are you here for? Kazir? Oh, hmm. Uh, well, no, no, not interested. I'm done with the guild. Not the life for me. He spent some time trying to force the reason out of him and are met with blunt resistance. Finally, with some exasperation, he blurts out the truth. It's because of the ruins of old Tyrannus Shack, okay? Filthy den of vipers nearly killed me. I hadn't spent more than an hour in there before I was nearly dead. Unless you're going to take me there and show me how a real fighter acts, I don't want to hear about it. It looks like there's only one thing that will convince him. A little begrudgingly, he agrees to follow you to the ruins of old Tyrannus Shack. If anything can help him overcome his trauma, it'll be this. Alright, dude. Let's go. Blue Dragonfly, thank you very much for five months of subage. How am I doing? I'm very hot, man. I'm very... Not in the fun way, like, just in the temperature way. Wouldn't mind a bit of overcast like this in, the, in real life right now, honestly. Check. Oh, oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> Old Tinker's Shack. The ruins of Old Tinker's Shack. Putting this battle wig here. I don't think it'll be as big than the Royal Dungeon. Uh, mostly because I've got the small dungeons in the option ena enabled, so this should just be a small style dungeon like most of the others. It's only the main quest ones that are gigantic sized. Graham starts shaking involuntarily once you enter. You know what? Fighting is all yours. I'm not doing a thing till I see you survive. Oh my days. Alright. Yeah, I can see why you're a bit iffy about this place, mate. The new Neverwinter Nights Let's Play is going to be called, um, well, it's, it's going to be a Let's Play of the Darkness Over Daggerford campaign in Neverwinter Nights. And I've just been reminded of it because this book here is called The History of Daggerfall, and very early on in Darkness Over Daggerford you get a book called The History of Daggerford. And I'm just realizing now that as I play through that campaign I'm going to be accidentally calling it Daggerfall instead of Daggerford all the bloody time, aren't I? Right for pointless corridors. Mike? What about my mic? <laughs> Sneak attack. Oh god, sneak attack. Dangerous hearts and saints here. Hello. I think I accidentally clicked on something there. What's actually the objective here, Grarum? Like... 
Do we just need to kill everything in the dungeon? How much is ivory? Ivory is not worth a lot, is it? Oh no, luckily for me, there is. I actually don't have a mute switch for the mic, I, aside from the one in, in OBS itself. So, no risk of me accidentally muting myself in that regard. By design, because I, I just knew that if I had the option to, I probably would. Although, one of these days I'd quite like to switch back to using a desk-mounted mic on a boom arm instead of one that's actually sits on my head like this, because I'm using a kind of sports commentator-style microphone at the minute, as in it's one that sits on my head. And uh, it's alright, because it means I can move my head around and stuff, and it doesn't... the or, or the volume of my voice and stuff doesn't change. But... It's, it's, it's honestly a little bit uncomfortable to wear. And any time I need to, like, scratch my ear or something like that, you can, you can hear it. Of your Yeti. I mean, the Yeti's alright. I used to have the Yeti. Uh, problem with it though is it's not a. It's a USB mic. It's not um, an XLR. I used USB mics for a very, very long time. But the problem is if you talk a little bit too loudly with them, it causes the audio to to uh, peak rather unpleasantly. Whereas with this, it's plugged into the audio box, and then that uses its own software to compress it all up and stuff like that, so I can talk very loudly all of a sudden, and it won't peak horribly. People wouldn't be ripping their, their earphones out, going, oh, Jesus Christ. Hmm. Let's go back down here and then this bit we've not explored. Need to go this way. Wonders of technology, I know. Uh, yeah, like a Blue Yeti is a good mic and it's a good solution it's if you just want to buy something and plug it in and then just go without any faffing about. It's superb for that. But um, I, I, it was Cactrader actually. He come, pops into the chat every now and again and he has his own Twitch channel. Um, but it was him that recommended this one to me and I've never looked back. It was a bit of a faff to set up originally but my god what a difference it made. Buoyancy and water breathing. Oh. Underwater zombie. It's like Minecraft. God, they hit like a truck, don't they, zombies in this? Oh god, wrong spell, wrong spell.
Your confidence begins to rub off on Graham. Getting a feel for the adventure, he smiles, perhaps for the first time in weeks. You know what? I'm better than this. By the maid, why am I even talking? I can do this, I can! He then leaves you to begin adventuring anew, because he will be happy to hear about this. And Timmy just gets immediately killed after he says that. That would be funny. Well, there we go. I think we explored the whole place. Okay, if that was the criteria for this quest, imagine how frustrating it would be if you were playing with regular scythe dungeons. Good god. Right, now my only question is how do I get back to the exit? Uh, we need to... Ah, go back through the watery bit. Okay, down here. Right, 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 right. Let's go. Wait, what? Totally the wrong way there. I just found a new bit or or what here no this is the way perfect all right what was the name no, that's not it. I've forgotten the name of the town again. Oops. Maybe it's in my journal. Pudirius, that's the name of the place. We can just travel by this anyway. Cudirius. Cudirius. Chewing the Cudirius. There we go. I'll remember it now, I hope. Ah! Ah, it's it's that time again, is it? Alright. Madam. Hello. Goodbye. Marvellous. Re-equip the hammer, and we're all good to go. Okay. Hello. Knew you could do it. It's definitely worth the gold. I'll need someone like him to kill rats and tigers while you're frying the big fish. Please, no more fish. Do you know what? It's six o'clock. I think I'm done, guys. I am done. That's about as much dagger falls like a stomach for now. I need to go stand outside for a bit and some fresh air. Ugh. Boy, right, let's, uh, let's do a perma save, shall we? I'm actually, my t-shirt is stuck to me right now. Ugh. God, Lord. Uh, I would have called it off today if it went for the fact that I missed it last week because of the football, so I was like, oh, Christ, well, I suppose I'd better hold up my end of the bargain and actually do it this week in spite of everything. So, um, yeah. It's 24 degrees where you are. Yeah, it's like 30 here. I've, I've dealt with the heat pretty well most of this summer, but uh, this weekend has taken the piss slightly. No, I don't have a basement. Not a lot of houses in the UK actually do have basements. 
Anyway. Um, you're what? You're welcome. False idol. You are welcome. All right, guys. I uh, let me let me think. Um, uh, obviously, we'll be back again on Sunday with more of this. Uh, hopefully, and uh, tomorrow on Alf's channel, yet another Alfarius. Um, I'll be playing more Deep Rock Galactic with him and Rev and Azza with the squad. Um. Deep Rock Galactic is very fun. It's a, it's a sort of co-op game where you play as a bunch of dwarves in space mining asteroids. It's just, it's just really good fun. Um, woo, me, yeah. So go go click on his name and go to his channel and give him a follow so you can see that. It'll be tomorrow night at, I, I think, 8 o'clock is usually when we start in the evening. So, um, yeah. So... That's it, everyone. Have a good one. I might be back during the week with another stream. We'll see. Yeah, I want, I'm, I'm kind of focusing on YouTube at the minute. And you might say, focusing on YouTube? You haven't uploaded it in weeks. Well, it's because I'm building up a backlog, you see. I want to build up a bag, big old backlog of videos and then just upload loads of them. Um, is, is the idea at the moment. So I, that's what I've been working on. That's why I've been spending so much time blabbing on about this, this Neville Knights thing, because I've been working on that in the background and all. But yeah, that, and I'm also getting the office sorted so that I can get back to making one or two battle reports occasionally as well, because I've had more than a few people nagging me about that, let me tell you. Um, but yes, that's an ongoing process as well, and I haven't gotten any done this weekend because it's just too hot to be moving shit around, frankly. And by shit, I mean lots of big boxes of stuff. The pile of shame. Being slowly sorted away into cupboards and drawers and things. And... Uh, it, there's, a, there's a double purpose to it as well, because I also want to get it sorted out so I can film in here, but also because I'm going to adopt a cat fairly soon. It's the plan. And uh, I need to get the room ready for that too, and also cat-proofed. So, yeah. That's a thing as well. So, kitty. Yes, indeed, a kitty. Seems like a perfect career choice to me. The internet does love cats after all, so. But yes. That's going to present its own little host of wonderful, interesting little challenges. Uh, but I decided this is the best room for the cat to sort of stay in initially. Um, because it's it's relatively large, but also it's quite quiet in here, because it needs to be quiet so I can do my work in here. Um, and it's nice and warm in here most of the time as well. And uh, there's room, you know, as in there's, there's, well, there's space, or at least there will be space. For me to put things like, you know, the litter tray, scratching post, bed, etc, etc, for the kitty cat. Um, but yeah. Cat playing Warhammer, yes. Uh, large furry bio titan. Cat or a kitten? Don't actually know yet. Don't actually know yet. Um, it's either going to be a cat or a pair of kittens, I think, is the idea. Because kittens are better in pairs. Um, much better in pairs than by themselves, generally. I don't know yet. Problem is, that if you want to adopt at the moment, it's all, a lot of it is done sort of like remotely because of COVID. Um, so, and, and, and every shelter is just sort of like, all right, if you want to adopt a cat, you need to be able to take it like almost straight away. And all right, now I'm not ready to take a cat straight away because I still need to get everything sorted here so uh, i've been keeping an eye on the local shelters websites and stuff to see what kitty cats they've got in you know um and when when we're finally sorted then um you know uh you don't want the litter tray in that room i mean like it needs to be in the room they start off in venator like there's no two ways about it like when you get when you when you when you first adopt a cat, you need to put it in a room of the house, and it can stay in there for like a few days while it gets its bearings and stuff. And only then do you let it explore the rest. So it it needs it does I'm afraid need to be in here. Um, there's there's no way around that. And really, with a cat, you want multiple litter trays anyway. So there's probably going to be a litter tray up here for the foreseeable future, as well as one downstairs. Uh, so yeah.
It'll just be incentive to actually clean the bloody thing out and not let it sit there. Let's, let's look at the positives, shall we? It'll be an incentive to actually clean the litter tray. Kitties are fluffy and cute. They are indeed. Can you forget one from a shelter, though? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'd like to sit here and pretend it's purely, like, um, me wanting to do a good deed. But, like, have you seen the prices of, of, of pets these days? Like, good God. Triple figures. Not even for any kind of fancy breed, either. So, <laughs> there's that element of it, frankly. But uh, I also like prefer to adopt a shirt from a shelter anyway, because one, you know, it's nice to rescue a kitty cat that's had a, had a, had a tough time. And also, um, you know, they, they, they do things like make sure already for you that it, the thing's been neutered slash spayed and also has its vaccinations up to date and, you know, all that stuff. And then they do check-ins with you later to see how you're getting on and stuff and offer you advice and that kind of thing. So it's just all, altogether a much more sensible process, I feel. Um, so, yeah. Fancy self-cleaning ones. Honestly, I don't want to because um, it's a good idea to be able to actually look at your cat's poop every now and again to make sure there's nothing wrong with them. So, you know, I'm not I'm not squeamish about it. I had a dog for for many many years, and with a dog, you have to get down there with a bag on your head and pick up the poop yourself. And sometimes it gets on your hand because the bag's not big enough. You know, it's messy and it's not very nice, but it, it, it bled all the squeamishness around poop from me a long time ago, so I'm not really bothered. Compared to, compared to that, to, compared to dealing with Hector's shits, um, a cat will be a piece of cake. Well, yeah, to stop people from getting a account on a whib and also, like, um, like, like I, I learned recently that, that a lot of reason a lot of people don't put cats on, on websites, you know, where, like, you can, you know, find a pet. Like, they don't put them up there for free. They do charge something. is because uh, apparently people go around and they pick up free cats that people are offering and they use them for dog fights, which is really sad. So, yeah, that's a bit shit. Yeah, no, it's true. There's pretty evil people out there, I'm afraid. Anyway. People are terrible, indeed. They certainly can be. Ah, uh, right. Well, folks, uh, let's see. Raid, 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 raid. Who can we raid? I'd give Helipilot a raid, but I guess you're probably not interested in whatever flight simming he's doing right now. Uh, I guess we could just go ahead and raid old Frazois. That's always a good shout. He's an entertaining fellow. Yeah, I, to tell you the truth, I'm probably going to go watch Hello Pilot because I'm a flight sim nerd, but I'm going to send the rest of you guys to Fraswa. <laughs> What's he playing right now? Oh, he's playing Albion. I think it's called Albion. That's an old 90s RPG from back in the day that I only played a little bit of, but was kind of interesting. Uh, the Space Fantasy one. Yes, yes, yes. That's the, the very same. That's what he's playing right now, so... It's his birthday stream. Well, perfect then. Just you can head on over there and say happy birthday. Um, right. So I'm not going to use the the button because I don't trust it. I'm just going to like type slash raid in here. There you go. Um, hmm. Is it actually working? 
I used raid slash raid Frazois, but I don't have like the little raid thingy on my screen. Uh, all right, fine. Maybe I will use the button then. Something went wrong. Try running that quick action again sometime later. I I don't. All right, I don't think it's worked. It should. I mean, even if it's not showing it, mind it should time out eventually. So, um, yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> See you next time. Hopefully the raid works. It might do, it might not. Um, bye.